So this was the first Project Transparency of 2016, and let's do a little bit of a rundown. I am Tree. I am a mixed media conceptual artist who is trying to up their game in illustration and graphic design. I show at a local not-for-profit community art center called the Art Garage. I'm one of their studio artists. And I've also begun hawking my wares on the internet and at cons, like NerdCon Stories last year was my first one. And I'm going to be at Minneapolis Comic Con in May for certain. I'm still waiting to hear about, <laughs> I'm still waiting here to hear back from a bunch of other cons. So, you know, we'll update as we go, because that's what we do. Project Transparency, which is what this is, is my, is a studio project that I do to attempt to demystify the art making process. I'm not always so good at it, but I try. Because there's this, weird thought that art just kind of appears in the world and that it isn't hard work and it's extremely hard work to do. Yes, you're playing for a living, but you know, the people who play football for a living, they work really hard too, right? So why aren't artists and writers and musicians and other people who play for a living given the same deference? Sub-projects that exist within Project Transparency are things like Stand and Stir Arting, where I demo things, uh, time-lapse art, where I attempt to film an entire session of working and condense it down. Sometimes it's not time-lapse, sometimes it's just edited for length. I also do things like The Library, which is kind of my booktube project. I do random updates of randomness because sometimes I just do weird things, like thing with dinosaurs. And I think that's all of it. And my studio practice is Tentacle Made Studios. I am Tentacle Made Studios. There is no other person involved unless we're talking about my partner, my, my relationship partner, <laughs> who schleps things for me. Ongoing studio projects for this year are I'm again doing a sketch a day. This is my third year doing a sketch a day because, again, if you missed me saying it before, I'm interested in upping my illustration game. I'm doing a second year of photo a day, though this year it's centering around a central figure, centering around a central figure. <laughs> I'm focusing on a central figure, which is one of my amigurumi squids. I call them squishy. And I'm doing a selfie a day project, which is because as an artist who has not only mental health issues, but also physical health issues, I kind of feel like I need to do some sort of documentation of that. And the selfie a day is the first step in a project that's centering on what it's like to be an artist who has physical and mental and emotional health issues. So, yes, that's what you're getting here. Hopefully. Maybe. Hmm. You occasionally get my cat, too. Other things that I do, I also listen to my cat sing, his, sing the song of his people. I also write. I have made my living as a writer in various and sundry ways for many years. And... Art modes that I've recently begun to pick up are things like encaustic, which is like enameling but instant gratification and with wax, and um, weaving. I'm starting to do more weaving this year. I have a Cricut loom and I have not spent time with it and that makes me sad. And I recently have obtained a microscope because I have thoughts about a project that looks at things under microscopes, especially since this one has a smartphone connector so I can take pictures of that stuff, which connected sort of to that thought, but not really, is I've been doing some 
some glitch artwork. <sighs> I'm not sure if we can call it glitch. It's probably more generative, but it has a glitch aesthetic. And it has a vector aesthetic. So I call it glitch. I'm sure there are glitch artists who would sit there and go, but you know, it's a new thing. I It really started off as highly, highly, highly processed photographs and it's become something very abstracted and very pixelated. Those are some of the projects that I'm working on. I, I, I cycle through a bunch of different projects and a lot of my projects are interconnected and interrelated to each other. And that is me, that is Tree. So these are the things that make up my studio practice. Okay, so I have other things to do. So I'm going to go do them instead of babbling at y'all, which I do. And that is your introduction to Project Transparency in Tentacle Mate Studios. Bye.